first thing I'd like to talk to you about is how we're going to make the bottle stopper with the cork. It doesn't take a lot of pieces to do this, but we certainly need some. So, the first thing we need is a 3 8 inch dowel. The second thing we need is a cork drilled to take the 3 8 inch dowel. The next thing we need is a bottle stopper block. This particular one is mahogany. So <clears throat> you can see that I've drilled a 3 8 inch hole for the dowel. We would then take the dowel, glue it in with super glue, then we're going to be able to turn it because this now is one unit. So if we're going to turn this, we've got to figure out some way to hold it. <clears throat> this is one possible way. This happens to be a keyless chuck with a number two Morris taper shank. So this would just go into the headstock, chuck this in and go. The problem with a conventional drill chuck is that the jaws are very, very sharp and they will end up crushing the dowel. So they make special chucks for this that are rounded over so they will grip the dowel very gently and won't crush it. This is not one of those types. This is a conventional chuck. So my personal preference for holding these is what's called a collet chuck. And these are readily available because they're the, turns out they are the very best way to hold it if you'll notice the inside is very smooth and it will hold and clamp onto our dowel very gently without doing any damage at all to it. These are threaded on the other end and we simply use, uh, in this case, all thread. This assembles on here like this. The other end, uh, I have a tightening knob with a washer. This would then simply be this uh, entire assembly with the knob off of it would be inserted into the, uh, the headstock and uh, then you take simply once this is installed you simply insert that when you tighten it up this would grip down on the dowel and you could turn it. Now I always use a tailstock uh, for better support and to eliminate all the chatter until the last possible moment. Then when you're finished loosen it up that comes out and at that point we would have shaped this into a shape like that and then we just simply put the uh, cork on there with some CA glue and we'd have a finished bottle stopper it's very quick very efficient and uh, this is the the simple most the simplest and the least expensive way to accomplish this when you're going to use a cork stopper.